I'm sure you've heard of the term gloss hair or silky hair, glossy hair. Hair that never gets tangled no matter how much you walk through the forest, like rocks. Unfortunately, those hair do not exist. Well, at least not naturally. Those glass hair you see on the internet are ordained with products, hair strainers, or even blowouts. You can't really get that naturally. But that doesn't mean you can't get a soft, healthy hair. Hi, I'm Genovia. I do food vlogs with a kink of lifestyle, and this is my hair. You guys have been asking me for my hair care tips, so this video is gonna be it. These are 10 steps of how I take care of my hair to get a soft, healthy look. I'm gonna start off strong. Number one, no chemicals. This hair, my children, has not been touched by a single chemical since its holy birth. This is what they call an extra virgin hair. That means no chemicals, no bleaches, no hair dyes, no permanent straightening or curling, no nothing. But for my girlies who has already had their hair done, don't worry. If you follow the rest of these steps, you can get your hair to its natural state. So make sure you watch to the end of the video. And also, I'm only 240 steps away from getting my 1k goal in 2 months. So please subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll be grateful forever. Number 2. Hair serum every day. But make sure you get the hair serum that's going to benefit your hair concerns. For example, if your hair is dry, make sure you get the hydrating or nourishing serum. This is the one I use. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I actually use this every single day. I would put about one pump and you know, rub it a little bit in my palms. Start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. This one actually smells really nice. It's not overpowering or a strong chemical smell in it, so your hair will still smell really nice after you apply it. And voila! Number three, use oil max. I would put like coconut oil on the ends of my hair and I would leave it on my hair for like two hours before I wash it up. I would do that for twice a week, every single week. And which also brings to my next step is use oil max on your scalp. I would combine coconut oil, almond oil, and a little vitamin E oil, put it on a bottle and put it on my scalp and massage into it and leave it for like two hours before I wash it up. So use oil max on your scalp for once a week and on your ends twice a week. The next two steps is to use conditioner after every wash and you do use hair max once a week. Conditioner actually puts like a protected layer on your hair to get that soft shiny effect and hair max nourishes your hair from deep within. So those two are really essential in getting a healthy looking hair. Number seven is blow dry less. I only blow dry my hair when I left it air dry for like 80%. I use the lowest setting of my blow dryer. Heat can really damage the hair follicle which can cause it to dry split ends. Which brings to my next step is to use heat products less. I don't straighten or curl my hair at all. So when you guys do it, make sure you use heat protection sprays and serums to protect the heat. The next step is essential for those who have frizzy hair. You have to use the protective sheet when you go to sleep. When you go to sleep, you like toss and turn, which can cause friction and can make your hair really frizzy. I use my old leggings, which has like really soft material, so it doesn't cause much friction to the hair. First, I put my hands through the two leg sides, and I part my hair into, into two sections, and put my hair through it. It's gonna look a little ridiculous, but bear with it. Uh, tie off the ends. The two ends, you just wrap it around your head. Yes, it takes a lot of work, but beauty takes pain, so bear with it. So the two ends, you just tuck it back on the inside and secure it with a bobby pin. And voila! Yes, I go to sleep like this every night. It doesn't have to be neat. I'm just doing it for the videos. As long as your hair is inside the little wrapper, it's good. 
Last but not least is to trim your hair every two to three months. People say that you have to get monthly trims, but I find that it's only for people with dry, damaged hair because they have more split ends, so you get to trim them monthly. But I don't really have that much split ends, so I only trim mine every three to four months. So they're also essential to get your hair healthier. So these are the 10 steps I do to take care of my healthy, gorgeous hair. If you're interested in my hair watch routine, make sure you comment down below. I'll make a video about it. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.